Back working on the AM Superhead receiver again, adding more stuff. Ah, oh, good afternoon YouTube. Back with you once more. It is 324 now. I'm back working on the uh, AM Superhead receiver. And I have the bias supply done. I'll show you what that is right here. I uh, have the uh, 33s in, both of those are in. The uh, diodes are in, just the way they're supposed to be, with the cathodes going towards ground on both of them. Uh, this goes to the um, 2K2 resistor, which goes back over to the uh, hotline from the uh, input. And that becomes your, uh, like I said, that becomes your, uh, your bias going down through here. Now I haven't got down to here yet to uh, uh, do anything down here yet. Uh, the next thing to do there is a transistor, that uh, oscillator transistor. So I probably won't get that done. I don't know that I'm going to put the resistor or the transistors in right now. I'm trying to get some other stuff done first. Uh, also have this over here done, 10 nanofarad. I don't know if I told you about that before. That's in and wired down to here, I think. In fact, I think it goes over this way, too. But uh, anyway, that's there. Let me show you those. There's our resistor 2K2. There's our two diodes right there. There's our two capacitors, our 33s. I also have this uh, line going over here. This is the uh, negative line going over to the uh, uh, around the capacitor, the tuning capacitor, that goes down to here now. That's all connected. Goes from all the way from the uh, ground input here to through here over to here and down this way. Now it'll join towards the, the bottom bus here before long, but for right now that's it. So, and there's like I said, there's our, a little uh, 10 nanofarad capacitor with the uh, line going down here and going this way. So that's all in. Um, like I said, it's just uh, this and that trying to get uh, things done. I did, like I said, obviously found the uh, diodes, so uh, <laughs> got those put in. And I have the other two there in the tray. Uh, so uh, I think I mentioned in the last video that uh, I have the uh, 150 uh, nanofarad uh, uh, capacitors ordered out of Cincinnati. Uh, they're supposed to be here Tuesday, according to tracking, according to um, estimates, I guess, is what I should say. Uh, probably will be here. It doesn't take that long to get here from Cincinnati, I wouldn't think. Uh, so, that's that. Uh, I'm going to work on some more stuff. Not sure exactly what, but uh, I am going to work on a little bit more here before I quit for the evening. And uh, I uh, appreciate all the uh, well wishes for Kylie's birthday. She is... Uh, all intents and purposes now an adult um, state of Indiana uh, recognizes her as such I guess um, there have been some discrepancies <laughs> about that uh, whether they do or not but anyway uh, she pretty much could do whatever she wants now uh, I do believe she's going to make her, her choice to uh, go to college in the fall uh, and live with her parents. I don't think she's uh, planning on doing anything rash. I hope not. Uh, I told her, I said, you know, get get all this you can while you can. I said, I understand it's not exactly what you want as far as freedom and things like that, but, you know, that comes later and, you know, when you can afford it. Uh, it's so hard now. She is working at JC Food Stores now. and She has been, uh, she's had a couple days now to work, I think. Uh, so, I think she's bagging groceries right now, but I think she'll be a cashier when she gets uh, better trained or whatever. But uh, anyway, like I said, that's uh, that's what's going on there. Uh, I didn't mean to get off on that too much, but uh, I did. Uh, like I say, this is what's going on here, and I'm going to add some more components and get some things done, and we'll bring you back again. Oh, good afternoon again. It's 4.05 now in the afternoon. Uh, this is uh, 
I'm taking my time with this uh, this operation. Uh, it's for one thing, it's a little tedious, tedious, tedious. Uh, let's see if I this a little bit. Oh, this is the one. okay. Uh, anyway, what I started to say is a little bit more tedious. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, than what I'm used to here, but uh, I think you can see that I do have this. Oops, I'm underneath. Where am I at here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, here it is. Transistor right there, and that's the first transistor I put in. It is hooked up. I'll show you on the bottom in here in a minute. There's a resistor there. It goes to one leg of that transistor. Now, this is where that uh, 150 uh, nanofarad. Uh, capacitor would go and what I'm going to do is tack it on the bottom I'll show you here in a minute when I turn this over but uh, I have I have all of the uh, connections made back off a little bit here there is a um, one one leg which is the collector goes to the middle uh, pin of the uh, final IF right here and the base of the uh, transistor goes over to the leg here. I think it's number three pin. It's the one in this corner here. And like I said, the uh, A emitter goes to the uh, resistor right there. And I think you can see that on the uh, schematic. If we'll pull back a little bit here on this. There you go, EBC right there. Um, like I said, that 150 is across the, the 1K resistor. And I'm going to tack it on the bottom. Let me turn this over and I'll show you what I'm going to mean by that. Let me turn this around so you can see the same way as you're looking. Alright, now the... Uh, let's see, here it is up here, I think. Anyway, this is the end of the uh, transistor right here. Well, I'm wrong end. This end. This is the end of the... Uh, or the uh, the one I said this is the a base of the transistor right here that's the collector going to that one and here's the uh, emitter going to this uh, resistor here now that's the other end of the resistor it goes across here it goes across the uh, plus line and goes to ground over here so that's why I have the uh, sleeve on there so that's what that looks like and it is like I say it is exactly like it is on the uh, layout uh, there's your uh, emitter going to the resistor. The other end of the resistor goes right up here to the ground. And that's the way I have it. Now, obviously, I don't have this end yet. I'm going to tack that in on the bottom. Like I said, I'll go across to wherever the connections are at. I can't even see them now. Anyway, this is the resistor here. This is one end. This is the other end. I'm going to push that back out there, give you, give you some things. I'll tack that in, the 100 peak, or nanofarad capacitor between here and here and that will complete that circuit and that will be honky dory uh, one more step out of the way so you know like I said this is slow going and I'm, I'm not taking any chances I want to get everything right I'm checking my connections and making sure that they are in fact uh, correct so that's what I'm doing and that's uh, pretty good so all of this in this area here is back up a little bit. All of this in this area here, around through here and here, is all done, except for that that capacitor, um, and that's the only thing that is not done. Now there is a line here for the. Um, let's see, this is the uh, positive line, it goes underneath that uh, 1K, between there. And it runs down to the uh, 10 nanofarad, which will go right down here. And I think I may do that next because I'm not really in a hurry to put this, uh, tack this in. I want to get all these things run before I do that. And uh, I think that's the best plan. So let me get busy and we'll come back again later. Ah, I'm back once again. It's a little after five now in the evening, uh, late afternoon, whatever that's called. I have uh, another couple of three items in. I have the uh, another transistor. That's two their transistors done now. All these these both of these uh, 10 nanofarad caps are in. And uh, it's getting closer. 
closer, closer, closer. Uh, this is the uh, actual lead from the other transistor. I don't have the, the third one in. I've got to figure out exactly how I'm going to wire the um, thing in here. I think that goes over here. Um, anyway, uh, I, I need to uh, figure it out. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, ground here. I think it is, but I'm not really sure. So this may this is from the uh, 10 nanofarad uh, uh, capacitor, and that's got to eventually go to ground. Now, according to the uh, uh, layout here, it goes all the way down here to the other side of the first IF, goes over and then goes into the uh, uh, ground bus here. And uh, that's where it uh, comes in. So uh, I have, like I say, these, uh, this one, this one, and this one is in. Here's the part I'm having a little problem with. I, I think because this is over this way a little too far, I think I'm going to have some problems with that. The only thing I, I can say, though, is I won't have a problem because of these two. Well, not these two. These two here, I'm going to put one on top of the other. In other words, uh, the capacitor will be across the resistor and so that will eliminate that one whole space there and I think that's going to give me enough room to do everything then. Um, so that's probably the next thing I'll work on but now it's it's after five so it's meal time for me um, and that's probably what I'm going to do is have something to eat. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't know if I'll come back then this evening but uh, I may. I just I never can tell. I was sitting here had the radio going like I usually do when I'm working and uh, I didn't hear the doorbell the uh, I heard some knock on the door though so uh, it was my landlord he comes collecting rent uh, after Wednesday the third Wednesday of the month because that's payday and uh, so he was he and I talked for a while about some of the things he was doing outside to the shrubbery and things like that so um, anywho I think uh, that's gonna do me Bob's doing something. I don't know what exactly. Uh, he hasn't been too active on the uh, texting. Uh, again, uh, I want to remind you that I will not be here tomorrow. And I probably won't get a video uploaded tomorrow. Uh, that's just the way that's going to go. <laughs> you guys can do without me a day, I'm sure. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a long, tedious... <laughs> everything's tedious to me. A long process to get her moved back to BB. And uh, my sister's been mo doing most of it. Now, I know she has a lot of help there. She has uh, five girls and a, a son as well. Well, no, I see four girls and a son. So uh, she's got plenty of help. Uh, I think her son's the one who's coming to get uh, the recliner that he brought. Going to take that back uh, early tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I thought maybe if I get down there and help him load that up or something and uh, do that. So. Anywho, that's it. I'm talking, talking, talking way too much. You guys have a fine evening. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you.